Sachin, let's go right back to the beginning. What was it like growing up in Bandra East all those years ago and what were you like? Wow, <laughs> I was a naughty child, without any doubt. Uh, I don't know how my parents were so patient. Growing up in Bandra East was wonderful because the number of friends we would get together and play every evening and then play different sports. Uh, it was seasonal, you know, when Wimbledon would be on, we would find a reason to play tennis. So we would draw a court on a, on a uh, road, concrete road, and we would play tennis with uh, our hands. So we would create our own games as well. And then it was a lot of fun, I mean, cricket, football, hockey, badminton, all sorts of things. So as uh, a sporty person, but extremely naughty and I, I had just too much energy to burn <laughs> and uh, I still remember when uh, the rest of the friends would go home at 8 o'clock and study I would be still running around downstairs in front of the building because you know I just didn't feel like going home and I wanted to play more but unfortunately after sunset there was no option but to go home and study so I would find reasons to stay away from that. So apart from patient, what were your mum and dad like? <laughs> what sort of uh, disciplines did they instill in you? Well, they had given me freedom. Freedom to be what I wanted to be in life. But uh, when uh, disciplining was required, correct words were chosen. Without raising voice, correct words were chosen. And uh, my father didn't shout at me at all. But I could make out the words which he would choose. I would know that, okay, it's time for me to back off. Otherwise, I had total freedom to be what I wanted to be. Is it right that your dad said to you that he would rather you be a good human being than a great cricketer? And has that always stuck with you? Yes, I think that is extremely important and it con continues to be the best advice that I've got in my life because this happened just when I had played for India. I was only 16 for a 16 year old kid. You know, it's easy to lose his head. So my father said, how long are you gonna play? Maybe 10 years, 15 years, but what happens after that? And nobody knew that I was gonna play a little more than 15 years. But uh, his advice to me was, you know, beyond your cricketing years, people sh should still want to have you around. And that is, important for me as a parent I think that is really important because this is just one chapter of your life but there are many chapters and I want you to be successful I want you to be liked in all those chapters so he said there's only one thing which is going to stay permanently with you is the person that you are your nature that will be with your be with you till your last breath a permanent companion and that is what you should work on you should try and be a nice human being. A huge part of that first chapter of your life was your brother. Was he the one that really got you involved in cricket, got you interested in cricket, took your cricketing career to the next level? Yes, uh, he did take my cricket career to the next level. I was always interested in cricket. It's hard not to follow cricket when you live in India. But along the way, you know, my brother was always there. It was always Ajit. So small chat in the evening, he's asking me various questions. What was the need to play that shot and all those kind of things. And that is something that I've continued right from the day I started till the day I stopped playing cricket. We would continue discussing and continue focusing on the areas where I could get better or the right things which I had done. So I needed to repeat those things in the next match. So, you know, those kind of inputs are really important. Someone to remind you to keep your feet on the ground. However, you know, wonderful innings you may have played, but again, the next inning starts from zero. Through him and my coach, I learned so many things. Above all, the most important thing I felt was to learn to respect the game. At no stage you can get bigger than the game. So whatever you may have done in life, you're always there and the game is bigger than anyone else.